Hello and welcome to the contingency plan. This is a video on hand signals. The best way to make this video would clearly be for one person to film while the other one demonstrates the signals. Unfortunately, I don't have anyone around to assist me in this because I don't have any friends. So I'm going to do my best by using mostly clips and images from other videos, but I will include my own video where possible. I will not be going through all hand signals because there are literally dozens of them and most of them are not relevant to any situation any of us would find ourselves in. I will focus on just the ones I think could be useful in a survival situation where you are trying to communicate with one or more individuals but want to avoid speaking out loud. Generally these signals will be used by whoever is in charge to communicate with those with him or her. If you send someone to the top of a hill or a ridgeline to scout an area, using binoculars to see them, he or she can use these hand signals to communicate back to you what they are seeing from the top of that hill. I'm not one of those that believes all hand signals should be done with one hand. In some cases I feel it is better to use a two-handed signal if it means making the signal clear and easier to understand. Most signaling during a survival situation will be in regards to movement and what you see around you, so that is what we will focus on. First off, let's start off with numbers. For most of us in a survival situation, we're probably not going to have to count much higher than 10 in most cases. Okay, I couldn't find a good one for counting numbers 1 to 10. So these are the hand signals for 1 to 10 using one hand. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then 10 would be a 1 and a 0. Now to the signals that I think you will find the most useful. Feel free to use these as simply a foundation and modify them any way you like in order to customize them for those you will be with in a survival situation. Most signals should be given facing those you are communicating with. The exception being the halt, freeze, stop, the form on me, and in some cases the I need ammo signals. We start off simple with you and I. It's very important to point at a specific individual if the following command is for them only. Meters and distance. This is the signal for how many meters away something is. The signal is meters and then one for 100 meters, two for 200 meters, three for 300 meters, and so on. Form on me. This is how to get everyone to come to you. Halt, stop, freeze. Take this one very seriously because it probably means the leader in front just spotted someone or a bunch of someone's. I see and the direction. This is the signal for you see something and in what direction. This will generally include another signal for what it is that you see. People or person on foot. This is the signal for spotting an individual or a group on foot. Examples would be halt, I see in that direction people on foot. Sniper and location. This is the signal for sniper in his or her location. In our case it would more than likely be used to tell your sniper where you would like them to go and to provide cover or overwatch. Building or house. This is the symbol for a building or a house and would more than likely be combined with several other signals. Enemy. The hand signal for enemy is this. Generally this would mean that whoever you see is armed. Later we will see the signals for being more specific as to what they are armed with. Enemy in a doorway or window. Doorway is a line up, across, and down. Window is a complete square. Here are the signals for enemy in a doorway and enemy in a window. The sign to indicate a female is a pinky up. And the sign to indicate a male is a thumb up. So these would be the signals for female enemy and a male enemy. This is the signal for do not understand. Basically you're asking the person to repeat what they said. And this is the symbol for okay or understood. This means that you do understand what they said. This is the take cover signal. It can be used to take cover or to tell someone to cover you or that you're going to cover them. So take cover you cover me, I cover you. Need ammo. Waving an empty magazine like this indicates that you need ammo. 
Listen, the hand signal telling whoever it is with you to listen. Hear talking. This is the signal to indicate that you hear voices or talking. I wasn't able to find any good video for go, so I'm gonna try and do it this way. So what you would do is you would point to somebody and then go. And you're gonna to wanna to do this in the direction that you want them to go. So if you want them to take uh, a corner, go left or right, you would point and then tell them to go either left or right. Or you can also tell them, like say if there's stairwell, you can tell them to go down. Come to me. Not a great example, but uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. Light or lights on. This generally means that you are telling those with you to turn on their flashlights or tactical lights that are on their firearms. These are the symbols for gun, shotgun, long gun, and knife. As mentioned earlier, this is the signal for armed and then whether you see a shotgun, a long gun such as a sniper rifle, a pistol, or a knife. The point of learning these signals is to be able to string them together in order to communicate silently with those around you while staying as quiet as possible. We hope this at the very least gave you a foundation to work from that you can practice with those you expect to be with in a worst case scenario. Thank you and please join our Facebook group at the link below in the description. Peace.